Chat, we got a lower bracket matchup in the Pro Drops European Invitational. It's Toxic, the Englishman, against Dead Monster, the Italian. Who will be eliminated from the tournament and who will get their chance to move on? I believe we saw somebody from these lower bracket games make it into the top four. Uh, I want to say Daniel did in his matchups in the North American version of this tournament. He made it into the top four and then actually won the whole thing after losing in the first round. So these guys are not out of it. Now, are they Daniel? Well, I couldn't possibly suggest that they are, but maybe they can start today by popping off as hard as he did in the North American version. Dead Monster will be the first to score. Toxic, as I was about to say, been playing more of an aerial game today than he normally does, but right there he just proved that he's not fully committed to it because that was an ideal wall to air dribble. He doesn't take it. He jumps up the side wall in order to get the ball back down on the ground. And that is a slow setup. I mean, you do have to decline the wall to air dribble when you do that. And stopping it from being a wall, all wall to air dribble involves getting up over the ball, chipping it back down, getting underneath it, and starting a dribble, which is slow. And as soon as Dead Monster recognizes that he's going for that slow setup in order to play the safer game of the ground game, Dead Monster turns and is able to tackle him before he really gets possession of the ball. So that's why it's nice to have the wall to air dribble game, to be able to just play the flow of the ball. In fact, the best ones players, I would say, do that almost exclusively. They, they play the flow of the ones game. If the best situation or the situation is calling for the best play to be a wall to air dribble, then they'll take it. If it's, you know, now the best play to play off a ground dribble or carry, they'll take it. Not to say that Toxic couldn't also do that, but he did at least cut it down to the ground at the start of this game. He is up 2-1 now, though. Who in the tourney isn't signed? That's a good question. I don't think Toxic is signed. Brazier's is. He is on Tundra. Dead Monster. I don't know if Dead Monster's signed. I think a good of them are not. Atau is signed, of course. Um, for Liquid. Jory is Oxygen. Moxie is not signed. Um, that's a good shot. A little 180 backflip flick. Almost using the fact that he lands into the ground to give it a bit of extra power like with those wheels or to move his car maybe more just a different angle Toxic really take a play from the wall this time. He has pretty much no choice. Is he going to musty? It seems like he maybe could have. Decided to just shoot it by landing on the ground. Ends up shooting wide of the post. And now Dead Monster escapes for the orange half. And rolls it in for his second goal. <laughs> oh no, Eros, he found out, chat. <laughs> Razier's plays with Cassio, can't remember, with an org, it, it, with Tundra. I, I said it already, Tundra. And Rizex, yeah, that's right, thank you. Dead Monster equalizing this game. Trying to take a power shot of that caliber all the way from the middle of the field is not very likely to score. The Monster can't control this. 
Doesn't want to let Toxic get a clean start to his possession, so he taps the ball into the corner. And he's actually managed to stay on this ball for so long that he might be able to get possession of his own. Actually, Toxic just steals it back. The pre jump onto the wall. The reset keeps Dead Monster at bay, but he can't follow it up with anything. So Dead Monster clears it away. Nice save from Toxic. As we approach the final minute here, every goal is crucial. Toxic launches this one to the skies. No place to follow it up. In fact, we haven't really seen a strong scoring attempt from either one of these two, and this might be it. The demo and Dead Monster should be able to follow this up. So it'll be the lead off the demo for the Italian. 37 seconds, but he has to go back to a kickoff, which is a tough place to be when playing against Toxic. And this is the reason why, Toxic, thank you so much for making me look like a genius. Cannot stress enough how cool that makes me look. <laughs> uh, just kidding, but Toxic did score the kickoff. And now we got a tie game. And he's got himself a carry as well. Dead Monster not really pressuring the ball at all. Does mean that there's a high likelihood he gets air dribble bumps. And Toxic with 20 seconds to go. Puts himself in the lead and puts himself back in a kickoff position, which is just crazy. And goes to show how important kickoffs are. Uh, when Toxic's down, you almost don't even worry because you know there's a good chance he can get it back. And then when he's up, it just cements it even more, knowing there's almost no chance that the other player gets a quick goal. Can Dead Monster find a way to keep this up and force overtime? It would be quite the miracle. As he starts in his back corner. Toxic will tap it to the ground. So to be a Toxic win, he kind of stole it there in the last few seconds. But nonetheless, up 1-0. Game number two. Dead Monster. Can he bounce back? Wasn't able to get a game win against Moxie. And he's not going to be able to get the game win that felt was so close in this game one against Toxic. Make me mods so you can ban all the other mods and seize the power. And make the title Fear vs. Johnny Boy every single stream. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to happen. Dead Monster getting boxed out of the ball here. Toxic pre-flipping in front of him. And is able to steal a ton of boosts in the process. I don't think these touches from Dead Monster are very good. And he's falling at such a high speed, he can't stay in control of the ball. But Toxic may have just given up a free goal. Dead Monster's touch was not it. I'm not sure he'd have been able to do it either way. It might have taken him too long to get properly around the ball. Get the touch he wanted, but still better to try that and recognize that you're going to get there late. Maybe still be able to do something with it. Toxic. Can he get this long shot off the ceiling? Not with enough power. Toxic has to stop the full field power shot that would have come had he left that ball bounce cleanly off the wall. But now, Dead Monster with a first solid attack. Toxic is nowhere to be found on this early challenge. And Dead Monster will tie it up. Toxic trying to come from the ceiling. Looked a bit closer from Toxic's perspective, but you watch it from Dead Monsters and not once was he ever worried about that ball getting taken from him. Toxic, look at the shot. So clean on the air dribble. Dead Monster. Working off pads, has to go to the corner to get 100, and I'm not sure why he did this pre-jump backwards wave dash. 
Without that, he might have been in a bit of a better spot to make a challenge on the ball. But with it, Toxic feels no pressure as he finishes off his reset. When does land start? December 8th, I think, is when the major, the first day of the major, I think. Nice dribble. Dead monster slicing and dicing Toxic as he snakes around both sides of the ball, making it almost impossible for Toxic to know which way he's going to go. Toxic, fake flick. As soon as Dead Monster pre jumped high, you could expect Toxic not to take the flick and see if he could force a 50 underneath. It is the nice counter to people who start to pre jump your flicks because pre jumping and getting up there stops those flicks pretty effectively. But as all things in 1v1, there is the counter to the counter. Long shot for Toxic. Needs to get enough power and does. Doesn't even come back down to the ground. Crossing over the goal line with airspace to spare. Toxic. Good patience to recognize that Dead Monster wasn't actually going to have a shot there, letting the ball come to the ground and set up a play. Now, kind of the opposite there is he just dives in the spot where he had no business. Somehow got that corner boost, though. The hitbox always seems to favor the player above the other. And Munster has had great challenges on these flicks. He's stopping Toxic from feeling like he can go over the top of him, but also not letting the fake expose him and go underneath. He's had both covered by putting just the right amount of height on his challenge and also attacking towards the ball. The problem is on this one, the ensuing play, he couldn't stick with it, but he has been able to in the past few. And Toxic is no chump on the flick, so he is tough to stop. Tried to just breezy that one in. Didn't work out. Not as breezy as he hoped. Toxic, another kickoff win. Dead Monster trying to do his best to make that not the case, but it is still going to be a possession and space for Toxic, who has been taking the ball carry as his primary method. This time the fake, or sorry, not the fake, but the flick comes much later. He has faked the past couple flicks, but not this one. And he just waited until the perfect moment where that kind of height is going to be hard to make up for on defense when he's that close to the net. 5-3. Minute left to go. Toxic. Trying to go for a pogo. You love to see it. You love to see the pogo meta as it slowly develops. This is history in the making, chat. Make sure you write it down. There's Dark. <laughs> Dark's here. <laughs> he, he, he knows it's him. Bringing the pogo wave. Dark, did you see Razier has scored one? Razier has scored a pogo in his previous match. Dead Monster, though, he's making this game close. Toxic trying to pogo late. That's a really good reset and dribble into that top right corner. What? You must be kidding? No, yeah, Razier's hit one. Razier's hit a pogo just like you. Uh, I shouldn't say just like you. Nobody does it as clean as Dark does. Dark does it with the experience of a long-time Pogo veteran, and you could just tell. Whereas everyone else who's hitting them, you could tell they're like a Pogo child. You know, they're 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 figuring it out and they're kind of getting it to work, but not as clean as Dark does. By the way, in the meantime, 
Dead Monster's about to win his first game if he can hold off Toxic for 20 seconds. We talked about it before, how Dead Monster had a similar lead in game one, but Toxic's kickoff was so lethal that he wasn't able to hold on to it. And this is the same case here again. Toxic, in a crucial moment, wins the kickoff. And even though this wasn't directly into the net, this is a really great scoring chance for Toxic that he capitalizes on. And Dead Monster's pre-jump gets exposed when Toxic touches the ball with his wheels and just drops it underneath. But it's actually a good kickoff for Dead. And now he gets to do the same thing the other way. The 50. Good coverage on all the angles from Toxic. No way he's going to be able to score again. But it will be another kickoff to decide the game. Diagonal this time. Toxic does win this kickoff. But I don't think he's going to win this race to the boost. He decides to prioritize ball. And it's just a little bit too high for him to take a quick shot. And he dives in and gets the demo. The margins on that play were really slim. Dead Monster was not far away from being able to shoot on a completely undefended net. Nice undercut by Toxic. He's going to touch this to the sidewall so that he could stay in control. As opposed to prioritizing maybe rushing to net. And Dead Monster able to take this angle away. Long clear. Toxic couldn't steal the midfield. So he knows Dead Monster will have 100 as well, but Dead Monster dives, and that is exactly what Toxic was banking on. Oh my goodness. I mean, I know this is, you know, pretty routine for Toxic, but this is the freest net ever, and I feel like that wasn't far away from being crossbar and out instead of a game win, but Toxic knows what he's doing and wins this one. Another slim, slim margin win, but a win nonetheless. This toxic goes up two to zero. Game number three. You just can't see the matches. Oh, I took it away. Yeah, so... I, I mean, this is some logistics stuff to talk about during the match, but... I realized that because the bracket is going to change based on who checks in, that I shouldn't even let the players see the bracket because then they start getting attached to the matchups they think they're going to get and wouldn't really, they probably won't get those matchups. So I, I made it so that's not visible, not until it starts. Toxic double reset. Wasn't leading to anything, so Dead Monster went to challenge and Toxic just used his flip. He might as well make Dead Monster miss, even though he's not likely to extend the possession much longer. Dead Monster launching this to his back wall and the uh, baby Psycho almost to get this goal. In fact, he might be able to follow it up. The ground Psycho as he launches it off his back wall and then doinks it down to the blue half. It doesn't go straight in, but he is able to follow it up for his first goal. Toxic, a kickoff goal. Such is life. Something you just have to get used to playing against them, or you need to be much more creative on your kickoffs. Dead Monster, this dribble leads nowhere. Toxic's ground dribble is similarly as effective though. Dead Monster looked like he was maybe trying to flip into the reset there. It didn't get quite the touch he wanted. Toxic just left it in that open. Zero boost. He jumps to avoid the demo, but it's just about an equal death wish when you single jump with zero boost. I mean, I guess he touched the ball slightly off to the side, but I think Mainly, he saw Dead Monster chasing him down. Toxic, nice 50. 32. It'll start at 7 p.m. KSA time. Yeah, 5 p.m. Central European time. I believe that's two hours behind KSA time. Dead Monster from the back corner. Pre-jumped and intercepted 
perfectly by Toxic. Not going to let Dead Monster escape even his back forth without being challenged. Dead Monster not being pressured and yet still decides he wants to double jump and air dribble in. I feel like that's a spot where he can stay grounded for much longer if he wants to when Toxic very clearly isn't going to be challenging him. He's turning all the way into net and letting Dead Monster cover a ton of space and then maybe a low 50 or a late flick or something would be much more reliable for Dead Monster. Certainly much safer. But Toxic will continue to lead up to passing through the halfway mark of the game. Toxic gonna be forced to pre-flip. Good use of power slide there as he gains control back in his back corner. You get this reset. I don't think he's gonna be able to shoot with it though. On the wrong side of the ball. Needed to be on the left side to bring it back to net. A lot of air dribble from Dead Monster. The angle too slim. Toxic has it covered and no need to rush for him with this lead. So he does decide to flick far away from that. Power sliding into his uh, reverse shadow position. I guess a regular shadow position, but not sure power sliding that deep is what you want to do. Maybe he was trying to fake slightly as he set it up. Dead Monster did not fall for it. Collected the ball and flicked and got his demo. Oh, look at the shot from Toxic. It's not going to be a goal though. Bounces off the post and out. A reset that he had to side flip into as it hit the ground. Dead Monster. High lob. Going to be able to meet Toxic for a pinch. Wall dashes as he looks to recover. He found himself on the wrong side of the ball, but he does make it back. Toxic goes over him. Can he finish it off? He can. 5-3. Toxic pushes it back up to a two-goal lead. I think... The British have daylight savings time because they have a time zone that has summertime in it. I think there's Central European summertime. And then there's Central European time. So there's definitely some daylight savings outside of the US and Canada, which I think is what I read on somebody's chat. Toxic. Couldn't pre-flip to protect this one. Just learned that not everyone gets daylight savings. Yeah, I actually don't. I'm in the US, but Arizona doesn't ever change their time. So it makes it slightly tougher on me because I have to remember how far ahead Eastern time is. Which of course isn't that hard. It's either three hours or two hours, but Easier than it always being the same time. Six four, Toxic. Trying to set Dead Monster home without a game win. Is he gonna be able to do that? Looks very likely as he taps this one to the ground. Dead Monster couldn't finish it off. And there it is. The 3 0 sweep for Toxic. Dead Monster exits the tourney. Toxic stays alive and has one more chance at making top four.